Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Bucknell Bison and the Duke Blue Devils. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Blue Devils are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get that big man into foul trouble. Finally, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He'll regroup the offense. Inside. Fakes it. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And a momentary look from three-point land. Fed the low block. He fakes the shot with a little baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to pack it inside. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Shows patience waiting for the reset. On the outside. He takes the shot. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. The small forward with the ball. There was no doubt about that one. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number one takes the pass. Number one with the fake. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. The shooting guard gets the ball. Shooter spotting up on a three. He attempts the trifecta. Goes in. Show the replay on that. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Steal. Number 21 is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm.
Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Tries for two. Leans in. You betcha. Inside. The center gets the pass. Dickler doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Up it inside. He puts up the tray. He drains the shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside, They're working around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. Nice shot. Got a nice screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 21 takes the feed for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Goes up for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Shoots from the top of the circle. Duke are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. There they come with a double team to stop it. Moving it around the perimeter. He unloads a three, way off target. There's the trap. He puts up the three ball. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Let's it fly. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Looking for a good shot. Has a nice look at the... He rejects it. Look at that spacing. 
Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. From the top of the key, makes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We might have ourselves a blowout here. Looks that way, Brad. It's been a very lopsided outing so far. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Three. He nails the bucket. We got to see that one again. Side. Controlling the ball. He looks at the hoop. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Looking for contact. The lay in. Two, perfectly executed. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. He blocks the shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Way out on, gets the rejection. Oh, yes. Defense extending the old game off. Is that push on the ball? Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's the pick. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, in this David versus Goliath matchup, the stronger team is capitalizing on the turnovers and lack of defense. Thanks, Aaron. Ten on the shot clock. Gave it up. Good fake. And the ball goes out of play. And, Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. One on the shot clock. Stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Number 21 grabs it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. For the 
bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. With the fake. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. In the paint. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. It around the arc, way out on top, controlling the ball, perfectly executed. Let's take a look right here. The Bisons have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Working it around the perimeter. Fake gave it up. Defense giving no room. From the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Drains the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the key. No. to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me, that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They're trying to make a statement. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Here's a double team. Got the shot if he wants it. High post flasher is open. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Only the replay can do this justice. Oh, 
tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The frustration right there. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? The Bison to find a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. And he scores it off the glass. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. He looks for the bomb. Drains it. And now they'll bring it up. Oh, what a strip, Red. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. With anticipation defensively. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Well, he's on fire. Double team now, Matt Angle. They've left him completely alone. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Number 21 takes it away. And again, they look to run. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. perimeter on the dribble gives it up coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion they work the perimeter he launches the bomb way off target he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Take some pride on a defensive end. At halftime, the Bison trail by 33. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how their second half plays out. Duke really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? 
You walk and one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. He goes to the line for the first time. Count it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of bounds. Gave it up. The shooting guard receives the pass. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. Stolen away. They get it out into transition. He hacked him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. He makes the second shot. That's a 16-0 run. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Goes in. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? It's electrifying in here. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. And the fans here are loving the action. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The Bison trail by 41. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The fake. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And the ball goes out of bounds. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's the pick. There's the roll. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. with a double team to stop it. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They work it around the perimeter. Got it. He 
paid no attention to the collision in midair and jammed that hole. Hey, Brad, he wanted to give you something to remember him by. Number 21 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. He gets it to go. The ball goes out play. Dick has that backcourt comparison shape it up even. Hey Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they as coaches get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Bucket. It's good. That's a 9 0 run. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim, and no good. Turns it over. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. The defense senses a five-second call. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Hits the shot. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Number 21. Slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Gets it to go. The Bison are trailing by 50. that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Bison's have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number three steals the ball. Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Gave it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Tries for two. 
Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? From three-point range. Buried it. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He dials long distance. He buries it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The power forward in the paint. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They look like they're having a blast. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Look at these fans. They're loving it. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to drop. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, during halftime, the coaching staff told me a sign of a good team is they play strong and play their style, despite who their opponent is. Guys? Jumps into the defender. We've got a blowout so far, folks. Hey, when you're down this much late, you have to make sure you don't fall into any bad habits. You have to treat this like a practice now. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great shot. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Look at that spacing. Wide open for the shot. He shoots from downtown. Got it. Number one. It's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. For the deuce. And he missed. Up and in. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. He'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us.
great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Shoots it. That's good. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That's a foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. He hits the second shot. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, and off the mark. He puts it in with contact and all. There's a double team waiting there. There he is, strips the ball loose. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Takes away the pass. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. into transition for two drains the shot there's the trap fans will be celebrating tonight dick this one's out of reach well it's simple they came out executed a game plan and ended up on top and the ball goes out of play Moving it around the perimeter. Number 
three. Comes up with it. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Steals a pass. off They're working around the perimeter had him in the post and didn't pass and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot up and inside and a momentary look from three-point land tries for two Defense giving some room. Tries for two. He knocks down another bucket. This down. kid's got skills, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. They work the perimeter. Intercepted. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. in front to take it away. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. And he missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Puts up a prayer. He doesn't get the hoop. For two, they're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Looking for a good shot. Nick, it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. I'll tell you one thing, they're so well coached, they're really prepared, and they understand each other. They know who their strong players are, should be shooting the ball, and those that are liabilities.
Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Duke wins in an absolutely humiliating blowout. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.